security and software issues that big tech has made in the past decade. Number 10, TikTok's data privacy concerns. We all have heard about the Senate's concern over data collection and storage policies of TikTok. These were generated by reports of TikTok employees in China accessing non-public U.S. user data. And this raises national security risks in that the Chinese government could compel TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, to hand over user data. In response, TikTok has created a Project Texas. It is a $1.5 billion initiative, based, obviously, in Texas, to segregate U.S. user data. These concerns about TikTok have led to calls for stricter regulations and even potential bans on the app in the U.S. What are your thoughts on the security concerns surrounding TikTok? Does China have the opportunity to take all of our data from TikTok? Is it something that should be banned? Leave your comments below. Number nine, Samsung's exploding batteries. Samsung has had exploding batteries, particularly in the Galaxy Note 7. These were design and manufacturing flaws that came to light over the course of time, including explosions in aircraft leading to a massive recall of millions of phones globally. So what impact does this have on other products from other manufacturers? This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of rigorous testing and quality control on, in the tech industry. But what are your thoughts on this? Was it cost savings or was it quality that caused this? Number eight, Tesla's autopilot safety concerns. There are some critical safety gaps in the system software design that has led to foreseeable misuse and avoidable crashes. This has led to massive recalls of more than 2 million vehicles and employee concerns that they were pressured to train the autopilot system to ignore certain road signs to avoid driving like a robot. Now, in my opinion, I believe that any company, Tesla or any other software company, has a responsibility to fix problems when they find them, regardless of the cost. Because software concerns, especially when it concerns safety and security of your data, is paramount. And these issues underscore the importance of the rigorous testing and continuous improvement in software for an autonomous driving uh, technologies. But what do you think? Was this a QA problem? Or was this a deliberate effort? Number seven, Yahoo's massive data breaches. In 2013, there was a data breach of 3 billion Yahoo user accounts. 3 billion, with a B. That's more than exists in the United States. That's a worldwide problem. Then, in 2014, there was a, a second breach of 500 million additional user accounts. So the impact and response on this was that there was a $117 million settlement from Yahoo to provide restitution and credit monitoring. But you and I both know that if my information, if your information ended up in the hands of, of hackers because of Yahoo's security measures, that no amount of restitution and credit monitoring is going to pull that data back. Once it's out there, it's out there. It's gone. They say that they have impl implemented stricter security measures and work closely with law enforcement to try and fix the problems that they had in 2013-2014. So these breaches highlight the importance of robust cybersecurity practices and some timely communication with users and stakeholders. Number six, Uber's Grayball program. What was Grayball? Grayball was a tool that was designed by Uber to evade regulators and law enforcement. They used it to identify and deny ride requests from users who were likely to be government officials or regulators in charge of denying access to a town. And they did it by creating a fake version of the app with ghosted cars that would never show up. Uber implemented this by collecting data from the Uber app and other sources, then combining them to create a different version of the app for these targeted users. Basically, it was used to evade law enforcement in areas where Uber was not legally allowed to operate. The consequences of this 
is that it was exposed by the New York Times in 2017, and a criminal investigation was initiated by the Department of Justice at that time. So this program highlights the ethical and legal challenges that can arise with the use of technology in business operations. Comment on what your thoughts are on how companies should balance innovation with regulatory compliance. If you are enjoying this video, please like, share, and subscribe so that we can grow our channel and bring you more quality videos. Number five, Microsoft's data collection practices with Windows 10. We know that there are different types of data collected, that is required and optional. Under required, that includes the OS build, connectivity, software version, that sort of thing. Under optional, however, there is browsing history, location, software in use. These are concerning over security and privacy. And we all have a certain concern over being watched by our operating system and concerns about the extent of data collection and the potential impact on our privacy. Microsoft has reiterated that the data collected is all anonymized. So let me ask you this. Do you believe Microsoft when they say that the data is anonymized? Or do you think that Microsoft has gone far enough with privacy controls within the operating system? Number four, Amazon's anti-union efforts. In 2021, there was a unionization effort at Amazon's warehouse in Bessemer, Alabama. That effort was eventually defeated by some 1,700 to 600 votes. The anti-union tactics employed by Amazon were that they told workers they needed to submit their ballots by March 1st when the deadline was March 29th. They also threatened to close the facility if the union won the election. And they told workers to vote against unionization if they wanted to keep their jobs. All of these tactics are both illegal and immoral and have been outlawed by labor law for many years, for decades. But there is a broader implication here and a debate about labor rights and the power dynamics between employers and their employees. And they've led to calls for stronger labor protections. What are your thoughts on labor rights? Should labor rights be strengthened? Comment below. Number three, Google Street View Wi-Fi data collection. What is Street View? Google cars are equipped with a specialized camera equipment that drive the road networks of a variety of countries, taking 360 degree photos to aid in the navigation and exploration via their Google Maps application. So between 2008 and 2010, Google collected data from unsecured Wi-Fi networks while they were driving around, including sensitive information such as emails, usernames, passwords, images, and documents. Now, Google intended the purpose to be to improve location-based services. I have to ask, though, do you believe that that was the reason for getting documents and emails? There were legal and regulatory actions that ensued. A class action lawsuit was paid by Google for $13 million, and they committed to deleting any remaining data. And I reiterate, do you think that collecting data such as documents and emails was a software glitch? Please comment below. Number two, Apple's iPhone throttling. That is the practice of slowing down older iPhones to prevent unexpected shutdowns due to aging batteries. Ostensibly, it was to prevent devices from shutting down unexpectedly. However, Devices were being slowed down without user knowledge, and accusations surfaced that Apple intentionally slowed down older phones to sell new ones. There were legal and financial consequences for Apple. That was a $113 million settlement, and they offered discounted battery replacements. A new feature was added in iOS 11.3 that allows users to disable this throttling. My question to you is, do you think that Apple thought they were helping users or slowing down phones purposefully to sell others. Was it a play to sell new phones? Number one, Facebook's data harvesting Cambridge Analytica scandal. Facebook's data collection, along with Cambridge Analytica, collected personal data from millions of Facebook users without their consent. It was using an app called Your Digital Life, which harvested data not only from users who took the survey through the app, but also from their Facebook friends. This data was used to create psychological profiles of users 
and the, the data was also utilized for targeted political advertising in the 2016 election. This exposure and legal actions came to light in 2018, this, and Facebook had a $5 billion fine by the Federal Trade Commission. That was billion with a B, $5 billion fine. And they settled a class action lawsuit for $725 million. Now, this incident underscores the importance of transparency and accountability and handling our data, user data, your data. What are your thoughts on how social media platforms should manage user data to prevent issues in the future? So my final thought on this is with tens of thousands of workers in these big tech firms, do we really believe that these were misses or mistakes by everyone there? Or was it the result of corporate decision that put money ahead of consumer privacy and safety? Or some combination of the two? What are your thoughts on this? Please leave your comments below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it.